What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Epic 7 video. No, I haven't really posted a lot of the Guild War battles recently. Um, this hopefully will go up on Saturday. It's our Friday War. Uh, just I've been really, really busy with actually getting Teppin off the ground on the channel, um, re-getting uh, re back into Overhit and getting back established there, and then uh, also real life work. So anyway, Let's go ahead and hop in. We're gonna do two attacks on the Delberg Fortress. Um, I don't wanna wait around. Um, I can attack this and assuming I win, I'll get 120, but this guy's still gonna have over 200 Havoc left. So I don't wanna wait around for the rest of my guild to beat it and then have to record another part later today and then attack the Lion, Lion, Lionheart. Um, I'm pretty sure any of our guildmates are gonna be able to beat this. So I'm gonna go after the other side of the tower um, I'm pretty sure we have tons of people to still attack. Uh, yeah, there's tons of attacks still left. So, no doubt, assuming we can get one more win in a draw, we'll definitely have enough members to take out the Stronghold, so I can safely use my other attack, um, just going after Dalberg Fortress. So, I'm gonna go here first, and hopefully I save my units, um, to kill the tower, or not to kill, but to attack the other right tower at the end. So we're gonna start with solo music. Um, this seems like a pretty decent, you know, okay fight. So um, we're gonna go in here. So first we're gonna bring our fast team here. So let's go ahead and swap this out for our lots. And we should be faster than that Dizzy. Our lots will be 235 speed. Very rare, Dizzy is over 235, so I'm pretty confident in that. If we can find our lots. Uh, there he is, okay. Um, and I actually think Luna's solid there. Oh, actually, no, we do need to, um, let's go ahead and switch that up, and then we gotta bring, we gotta bring Shuri. We need that speed up front, for sure. Definitely don't wanna risk. And I haven't crafted, I've just been too lazy. I have a, I have like 20 million gold and I have crafting mats and I just have been too lazy to go through and do it. Um, and then I'm fine here, yeah, because the KDs won't be as much of an issue um, when we single her out next. Um, not like Angelica or uh, Mont Morrissey. So I think we're fine there. We should be good. Uh, yeah, so let's go and rock that. And as long as we get the first turn, we'll get the first match. We do. Easily. Okay, that is a super, super slow Dizzy. Super slow Dizzy. So let's go and take her out first. Wow, we actually <laughs> almost one-shotted her. Alright, we still got to use our S3 on it, though, because I don't want to risk, even with the push, of us losing out on speed. So we got to take out that Dizzy so we don't get any debuffs land against us. Uh, we do get the extra turn RNL trigger there. So we'll go and go after that Luna. And then we'll go ahead and kill the Sermia, because she is going to attack next. I don't want to risk her S3 killing our Watcher Shuri or our lots. Um, and then we'll go for a Silence here. We do get it. Okay. Alright, cool. No, no massive attacks there. So we're definitely good to win this match, as expected. So boom, that should do it. And then let's go into match two, which this should not be too difficult either. Going after the Ken first, nice. And he gets the crit. So we'll go and counter there. More than half health, very, very nice. We'll go and put up the immortality just in case um, something bad does happen. Unfortunately, Soul is gonna counter, but that wasn't very much damage at all. So we're, we should be good. She's actually gonna S3. Interesting that the AI chose the S3 there over S2, but I'm down for it for sure. We'll go and put up our shields so that Biken can't bleed us. And then we'll go ahead and AOE with Ken. So that's an insanely slow Biken actually. Not all my units outsped her. Very, very slow. All right, so Ken's gonna get some combat readiness there. She's gonna go again. They're gonna get combat readiness. So they're all gonna get pushed to the front. Oh, I guess, did she fail the crit? Is that why there was no combat readiness? I don't know, but let's go and kill Bike in here. So now you got invincibility. All right, so now this is when we go after the Akades, try to get her out, out of this match. Ooh, stun, nice. So 
he's got invincibility, that's fine. This should kill Katie's, I think, actually. Nope, oh, okay, we didn't crit, that's why. All right. It's all good, though, it's all good. We're still totally fine. Another stun, wow. Angelica is stun city today. Oh, he doesn't have immortality, don't die, Ken. All right, good, he didn't die. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we'll pop him there. Are we gonna get our third stun in a row? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Katie's on a candlestick. Interesting. Interesting setup there. Um, we can just auto from there, obviously. <clears throat> and this should be quick work. No idols cheer. No Mahogra's tomb to accelerate or anything like that. I'm okay with the candlestick. So, love being able to fight teams like this and not have to worry about Angelica and makes it so less stressful, and that should do it. All right, so onward to match two, let's go. So this is actually our first match of, since they implemented the, oh, are we, oh, so they haven't started the, uh, the currency yet, I guess. That's a little unfortunate, oh well. Yeah, I guess we don't get it yet. It must, they must wait. I, I forget the patch notes when it said we actually start regular season. Cause this is still this must still be preseason. All right, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, that's actually fine. I think overall we should be good. I think we are good to rock that. We don't. We should have to change anything there. Sweet. We are faster. All right. Perfect. So let's take out that dizzy first. I'm hoping the push will get us fast enough to uh, go past that Biken. I don't think it will though. So Biken may actually take out uh, Shuri or Lots here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I think our Lots is actually dead here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. Oh, wow, and Sez even got that. Wow, that's really, really unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go and kill Biken. We're still going to get a win here. We're just going to lose our lots, unfortunately. But he still got us two wins, so I guess that's fine. Oh, and wow. Wow. He's not going to do much damage, though, so splash damage shouldn't kill Biken. All right. Wow, lost Shuri and Lots. That's really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. So we'll have Luna, Dizzy, and Biken as another team. All right. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's fine, though. Can heals back up. Villager's gonna come in here. I don't think he'll kill. Nope. We're good? All right, very good. All right, so let's go ahead and heal our Angelica. This one should be pretty easy. This might kill Bologna, maybe? No, super close though, very, very close. Counter, so that should kill Kise easily. God, that was like the health bar went immediately to zero. <laughs> it's actually really funny. That health bar literally went immediately to zero. That's actually hilarious. Alright, very good. So there Bologna is dead. And then we just have Vildred. Go ahead and heal just cause. Get them back to full. Oh, even with the follow up, that's still not gonna matter. And I should pop him. Yep, alright. So we still got two wins. The important thing is to get the wins. So, unfortunately, um, we are gonna be going into the harder matchup and we're not gonna have two of our top units. I don't know why I completely exited Guild War. That's not what we wanted to do. All right. So I'm still gonna attack because even with a win, we're still gonna need that extra attack. So 
let's hop in here. Yes, we are still gonna battle. So first match, I should bring my bruiser team. Hmm. So our second match, we don't have speed imprint. So we could bring Dizzy Violet. Who else? Because we're totally fine bringing this team. All right, so let's go ahead and just bring this team up here because we already know that's going to happen. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to use Biken for this fight, though. I don't think we can use Biken for that fight. I don't feel comfortable enough to outspeed their Dizzy without uh, Watcher Sherry's imprint. Because more than likely, this team is going to be very well put together. So we can roll the dice, bring our Dizzy in um, with Tagle's Ancient Book. Get potentially try to push them back. Could bring Fire Ken. We could bring Fire Ken um, with Violet and Dizzy, I guess. I think that's probably our best bet, actually. Um, yeah, let's give that a shot. Let's see how that flies. And then we'll just put our uh, our Tagal's Ancient Book. Okay, so it is still on her. Okay, I haven't changed it. All right, let's give this a shot. I am feel, oddly enough, I feel good against the uh, ML era and ball match more than the second match. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. All right, cool. Resisted the sleep. That's good. Now this is the kicker. We resist the stun. We should get the match on Ken. All right, we resist the stun. That's the burn is fine. The burn is absolutely fine. All right, so then let's AOE. And it doesn't matter if any of these units die here. Oh yeah, super easy. That's fine. You can do that. Alright, get these hits in. Is that one sh Oh, man, that was a super close to a one-shot. If he targets Ken, though... No, he targets Akades. Alright. Do we get a Water Origin trigger? We do. Sweet. That is dope. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up. We're gonna heal up before we grant Immortality. Uh, because I'm pretty sure we can stabilize. Um, we I don't think Rusid, Rusid can't kill Angelica here. So then Angelica... Ugh, please don't sleep, Angelica. Alright, good. All right, so now we can put up shields. Ken, unfortunately, did get sleep there, but this will keep him alive, and then we can put Immortality on him now. That's fine. Yep, counter, and that'll kill the ball, and then we just have Rusa. Super easy. So we'll go and put up Immortality, just in case. just annoying they always run that stupid artifact where they are uh they get evasion increased chance and it just makes the match so much longer for no reason taking the risk he's got evasion do we hit oh we do we one shot nice good job ken you served me very well today you did good job good job Ooh, when we got the first turn. All right, very cool. All right, so only Armin on immunity, and she seems pretty slow. Yeah, she's at the very end of the pack, so that's fine. So if we can push the Dizzy, we'll be in a very good position. Can we push that Dizzy? Frick, man, we pushed Charles. That sucks. So we're going to have to really, really, more than likely, Ken is going to get hit with tons of debuffs. Yeah, he got all three. Violet is going to get to cleanse all his debuffs. Um, so now we need to focus on getting rid of Dizzy ASAP before, um, if possible. I don't think, though, we can take her out in the, this first turn, no. Alright. There's not really much a point going for S2, because I'm blinded. So, we're just gonna have to see if we can slug through this fight. Um, Charles shouldn't do too much damage. He's got blind and attack down. Dizzy's the only one that would be super weak to him, so hopefully he doesn't do too much. Alright, cool. He didn't do very much damage at all, so that's great. 
Um, Charles is the one to target right now. He's the only one that doesn't have invincibility. <sighs> That's right. She didn't get hit with the disease debuffs. That's unfortunate. Alright, Dizzy is now open, so let's go ahead and start working on her. Try to get her off the board as soon as possible. <sighs> Man, Violet got stunned. That sucks. Our Dizzy's gonna go down here in a minute. Um, Alright. Do we get one more turn of debuffs? We do. Oh, but they have a lot of immunity. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Oh, well. Yeah, she's gonna go down before she'll get another turn. I'm, like, 90% sure. Yeah, she'll go down right there. Alright. Alright, we are getting rid of the Dizzy, though. So now we don't have to worry about our Fire Ken getting debuffed. So that's very good. Alright, so... I wanna say Charles? I wanna say, uh... Let's just go for Charles. I don't... Did he have Herber's Sword? One of them did. I can't remember which one did. I want to say it was... Um, the Armin had the Ritual Sword. But I'm not quite sure. Alright, crits. Very good, Violet. Good stuff. That was some decent damage, actually. Oh, that was his regular attack. So we get to counterattack. Do we get to counterattack again if he missed? He Okay, he didn't miss. Oh, provoked. That screwed me up. I could have taken out Charles there if I wouldn't have been provoked. Alright. Crit. Alright, very good. Violet is just putting in the work today. Alright, so we got this. We got we went 3-0 today. Awesome. We lost two of our top offensive units and we still went 3-0. That's actually pretty insane. So very, very good stuff. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Oh, and we got the stun and attack down on the Armin. That's... That's dope. Defense break. Ken gets to go again because of his soul burn. And then Violet will finish the show. Awesome. Man, I'm happy. So, me getting shafted on all my MLs, it seems like that Violet is putting in the work. He's doing, you know, decent on my defense teams. And he just got me a win there. So, there we go. And I believe... We got, did we just get two wins? Yeah, two triple failed defense. So there we go. We are, should be one win away from knocking out that tower. So this guild war should be in the bag for us. We have only, looks like we only lost two allies so far and they are not attacking my tower, I would assume. Am I in pledge like I normally am? Yeah, I haven't gotten attacked yet. So. There you go, guys. That's the Guild War for today. If you guys did enjoy, as always, drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new for some more Epic 7 content. Hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next Epic 7 video. Peace out, guys.